Namaste, welcome, welcome everyone all around the world watching this now or in the future. Uh, we have a beautiful special broadcast from our little studio here, Sacred Sound Studios in Florestral. So happy to host today beautiful musicians coming to play, coming to talk about the spirit of music, of voice and sound. Really, really happy to welcome today in the studio. Uh, Uriah, hello. And Shai, hola. And Dana Luna, hola. And hey guys. Some, some beautiful uh, guests uh, here arriving to us. And we will go for the next uh, hour singing, <coughs> singing songs, uh, learning about sound, and enjoying together. Aho! Uh -huh. Hey, thank you, Bismay, so much for, for having, having me, having us here. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And, uh, and also, thank you, everyone online, people that are live right now watching this and people in the future that, that are hearing and seeing this broadcast. Uh, in, in, my, in my perception, you guys are with us already, and your presence affects the words that will come through, the questions that will come through, this whole this whole broadcast is kind of built as a circle. So, so we, are, we are here around its center, and everyone that is online is also around its center, influencing it, and uh, will try and be in best service to this, uh, to this journey. And may the, the words that come up here and the subjects that we cover um, be the precise ones for you, yeah, to support you on your journey and um, yeah, to bring more harmony. Into this, uh, into this beautiful uh, community that we are. Yeah, so I will start with a song. And for people that are joining right now, take this time to kind of relax, to put your day aside, to bring yourself to here, to this session, to this ongoing uh, flow. And see yourselves in a way Try and feel, try and send an antenna beyond the fact that you kind of try and feel yourself for a moment. Yeah? Everyone here in the room and everyone that are listening to us. So first thing, maybe take a, take a moment to just ask yourself, how, how am I right now? What's up with me? If you're, if you're at home or here, you can take a moment to close your eyes, feel your weight on the ground, the support that you receive from, from the great, this great planet. Maybe take a deep breath and a long sigh. Yeah, deep breath. Nah. Arriving to the now, to this now that is a, as an ongoing timeline that we all share. open an antenna and try and reach out to all the people that has ever heard this broadcast, to all the people that are a part of this, the collective that is drawing the information out to us right now. Every person, every personality that is encountering this video has asked for it in some way, so I believe. giving some of its energy and some of its life force into this, into this journey. So just to send thank you to this great community of, of men and women around the world. And there's a thing when we touch the, the collective self, when we are approaching the Self, trying to feel outside of ourselves or deep inside of ourselves in a way we are we're leaves of the same of the same tree yeah? humanity each person is a leaf and we share the same organism the same trunk the same branches same root system so when we try and tap into this collective it's it's asking us let go of our own control you know, to release, to release. Of how I think I should be feeling right now, what I think it should, because when, when I'm just me by myself in the shower or 
in the street, walking, sitting in nature, at home. It's different than when I'm surrounded with other people, when our, when our energy fields are, are mixed. supposed to be out of our control, out of our reach, yeah? so to relax into that. So we'll sing a song together and wherever you are, you're welcome to join here in the studio and, and at home to sing this mantra, this mantra, and really trying to mean these words, to release control, release control, release control. It goes like this.
relaxation, deeper faith that allows me to release control, to let go into life's wisdom carrying me. When I let go into this, I inspire. It happens passive. It just happens. When I let go, I inspire. Humanity is evolving through each and every one of us. So I do the best I can in service. Take a few moments, yeah? Take a few moments just to sing a little melody that you hear on top of this, of this harmony. Wherever you are. If you're a few people in the room, then let your voices intertwine and create harmonies. Don't be afraid to make all the mistakes in the book. Everything is okay. It's not a performance. It's a ceremony. It's a moment of extending, expanding our consciousness, our awareness. Music is the instrument. There's no goal. Let's take a few rounds, just intuitive, intuitive melodies. And let yourself, throw yourself at music and see where you go. not a serious business. Lift the roof up, yeah? Go, everyone. I release control, yes, and surrender to the flow of love that will heal me. Of love that is healing me in the present, yeah? surfing a wave in the ocean, you know, if I didn't get the wave, there's another one, there's another one, so I can go, whoa, but it doesn't work, and it goes, da -da 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 and we forgot the wave that we didn't get, you know? everything goes back to music, playfulness, fun, raw, 
expression of the human self that we are. left in your body after singing, after being in this journey. Try and feel your partners, imagine your partners alongside you in different places in the world right now, in different times, as this echoes into the future. Thank you for joining everyone to this fun broadcast on Florestral. Thank you, Visma and the team, for having us here, yeah, for hosting our retreat, the Voice Medicine Retreat, which starts in a few days. Super excited for that and to do it here and to have this opportunity to connect in creation even before we start. is a, it's a great privilege. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Uria, and everyone for joining us. Mm. And I love listening to that song and sitting back and taking it all in and mm. feeling the Im implication of like the voice, you know, and playfulness. Mm. And many people probably want to know uh, about your story and, you know, when did you discover your voice? And you know, what is the meaning behind opening our voices? And why does it interest you? Mm. Um. Well, it's, it's, it's quite a few questions. I can fill in a whole hour. It's just, it's just what you said right now. Um, maybe I'll start with the end. What, what is the meaning of opening the voice, activating the voice? Why do we want to dive into this um, instrument that we've received? Well, I think I, I always say before we start uh, sessions, retreats, workshops, that... I'm not here to teach anyone how to sing. I can't. You're all masters of your voice. You've been singing since day one, right? We all, we came to this world and went, Wah! you know, and our song explained what's going on inside. And everybody got it, you know, got exactly what we mean. And since then, we've been using our voice, talking, talking. In, in my speech, there is music, you know, too, da -na -na -na. And this music transfers so much information um, into the conversation, into this mutual space. Um, and we're all masters of that. So when we sing, I, I'm trying to always bring it back to the everyday voice, everyday presence. Not to go too serious and spiritual and, and, to, and to see the divine, exciting quality in, in every pips of, of sound that we make. Um, and then, and then to relax into that because this there's so much teaching in each and every voice on this planet right now, and most of us are sitting on the on on a, like on the dam, you know, and we're holding everything inside because we think that it could be better. We have ideas about like about this grand potential of where our voice should be one day, you know, and we're right. 
And yet it, it doesn't mean that right now it's not divine, perfect, as good as it has ever been. Like This is the best version of myself right now. And, you know, and after COVID, we've seen that everything can change in a moment, you know. Like tomorrow aliens are coming. And then what? You know, then so, so and then I didn't get to do my work because I thought that this potential will be what makes me worthy of bringing my voice. So my work is to let go, like to observe these ideas, embrace them compassionately, and shine what we have to give right now. Um, and, and I think what drives me to do that is because I, I really love people. I love us. I, I love our depths and personalities and the spaces in between us that are so complex and endless and infinite. So, so, and I want to have more of that. I want to have more of that. I want to drop into the authenticity of our interaction. Wonderful. Yeah. So I take it this retreat is not just for singers, it's for everyone. It's definitely for everyone. It's, it's just for singers, it's just we're all singers. Okay? <laughs> it's only for singers. Yeah? <laughs> if you're a fish, don't come. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. And we would love to hear you and everyone sing another song, if you may. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, with pleasure. Um, let me say just before that everybody that, that, are, that is here in the room and everyone that are listening to us um, online, um, live right now, people in the future, I love you, but I cannot receive your feedbacks to here yet. Like we, we, don't, we ha don't have the technology. Um, but everybody that is right now live online with us on Facebook, thank you so much for being here. Please write down if you have questions, if you have sharings, if you have insights, you know. We are together around one center, you know. There's, there's this thing that we're exploring together. And if you have the urge to ask something, okay, also you guys, if you have the urge to ask something, that this is something that our collective is asking to be, to, to be discussed, yeah. So, so please write down some things and we have, uh, we have, uh, we're staff here, so some, some of us are looking online and seeing the questions and maybe the next question can be yours, yeah. That would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, cool. And maybe somebody here, if anybody wants to, to say a word or, or anything or to ask a question, then definitely feel free. Mm -hmm. Or to ask for a song. <laughs> if you have like a favorite song that you want us like, it's anyway, anyway it's going to be new, so. It's just an entrance to a space. I'll give it I'll give it ten more seconds and then I'll choose. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I wanna ask uh, a little question. Yeah. Um so I wanna ask um how do you think that like opening our voices and like allowing ourselves to to dive into music and into our own musical being that, that we are like what how does it influence our lives like why do we do that when I allow myself to sing what happens that makes me shine like you said mm. right so well, I think I think what happens in these in these journeys, um, when we discover in each journey, where, when we discover our voice, it, may it be something I'm doing just by myself at home, or something in a workshop, or in, in this workshop. Um, every time I do this, I I drop deeper into myself. I'm more connected to myself, you know. And I know for about myself, a lot of the things that I'm that I'm following in life are ideas planted by society, planted by my parents, planted by my colleagues, my ideas, my contractions, you know. So many things are coming because I, I'm more disconnected than connected, always. There's always more in the unknown. Um, so every inch of path that I'm doing towards, towards connection to myself um, allows me to... Um, to, to yeah, to, to explore into the directions that are, that are my real passion in this life, you know. Mm -hmm. We're here for a moment, a glimpse. You know, if we're lucky, like 90 years, 80 years, you know. Even, even 20 years is lucky. It's great. It's all, it's all great. It's mm -hmm. just, it's so short. And we want to be connected to ourselves. And the voice is an instrument for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So I think this is the main main thing. Like I use the voice. It's not because I want to become a better singer, entertainer. It's because I want to become more free and relaxed in who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we have a request from online. Yeah. Kasia is asking if you can sing Home. Home, Kasia. <laughs> yeah, of course, it'll be my pleasure. Yeah. I love this song. It's, it's so relevant wherever I am, you know. Let's see. Let's go from here. So this song, Home, is a, is a forgotten rainbow song. I have no idea who wrote it. Please tell me if you know. So that I can send this person a great big virtual hug and kiss. And when it came to me, I was so excited that I, 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 I when I heard it from someone in a, in a circle that I led in Israel a few years ago, we sang it. 25 times just so that we'll remember it and then on the way home I recorded it in my phone again so that I'll remember it and I've been carrying this, this song around the world in the last over two years I've been traveling with my family we're moving from place to place and and the beautiful thing that we're discovering is that everywhere we go we find we find home and this home is is not in the room that we rent, it's, it's in the eyes of the people that we meet. It's in the sensation that we can be who we are, as we are, and these special relationships that allow that. And if something happened and changed in the world lately, one of the things that really changed is, is this, is that more people are saying, the hell with that. You know, this is me, this is how I want to be. People are a bit more brave to be themselves after being so stirred and shaken by by the this this wave that we went through that we're going through still so we find more of that quality more of that quality So 
the flow of our life, our life stream. The deep down inside, around all of our ideas, is so clear. When I sing home, I am home, I am not describing a place, I'm describing a sensation. Expand that, expand that, expand that. See all of this planet, see all of these people. And just to imagine, to imagine a world where every pair of eyes that I see is acknowledging our mutual presence in one home. The sensation of home within the human consciousness is one. This is something we all share. Take a moment and sing this as a prayer of awakening to our brothers and sisters and to ourselves. Thank you, Kasha, for asking for this one. Appreciate it. Mm. What a powerful song. And mm. um, thank you, everyone. And uh, it's very touching. The words that you say are like poetry and a great philosophy that I'm sure that will touch many people that have mm. been touching many people. So, oh. Mm. <laughs> I'd like to know, um, when did you discover your voice was it a certain age um, and how did you realize this mm. then to be of service to others mm. well I I, I I love playing playing just playful playing playing games playing I've been a playful kid um, uh, and and I've and once I've figured out music is out there you know I've been always playing playing with it so I've been singing with the radio and all the time kind of trying to find the second vocals and the third vocals and, and trying to kind of dance around the music. And it's been kind of a tendency that, that, I've, that I've had. Um, and I think only in, in a later part of my life, I think I was 29, the first time I went up on stage, actually on stage with a band in front of people. Before that, music was something that was my meditation between me and myself and, you know, and, and little jams with, with people that I know. Um, and I started figuring out that there is this energy happening there. When I am on stage between me and the people, there is this energy flow. There is this mass um, synergy you know, that is happening. And it's, it's not real, the concept that I am performing and, uh, and being active and the people are being passive because the presence of the people changes my voice. I can reach higher, I, I have more juice, I have more enthusiasm when the people are there. Yeah? Right now when we're all singing together, it's different. It has more, it has the, there's more energy to, to kind of channel through um, when there's more people. Um, and it took two years before I went and, and had a solo concert by myself. And there I felt that, okay, there's also this silence that is happening and the deep presence that is happening. 
And once I started with sacred singing and singing circles, I just couldn't stay with anything else. Like this, I, it was, ah, okay. So this is the real home of music, you know, it's, it's the ceremony. And also on stage, it's a ceremony. I went to Santana's uh, concert in Israel a few years back, and I've been seeing Carlos standing there on stage, you know, in front of 22,000 people. And this was a ceremony as well, not, not less than any other powerful moment of music that I've heard. Um, and just, just observing that and seeing that and seeing how much appreciated this frequency is between me and people, I've been drawn to explore more and more and more of that. Um, yeah, and in the past 10 years, I've been, I've been devoted to singing circles, conscious gatherings, um, vocal workshops, singing circle leaders courses like th more and more into learning how to work with this energy of music which i believe is is our ancient natural way of referring to music and with time kind of we lost it and with the explosion of western culture um, also took many other directions which are also amazing music is also entertainment it's and it's great that way just that there's a deeper there's a deeper presence to it. Oh, I love the lyrics that you sing. I think it's fantastic to get this music out there, you know, mm. to touch others, to encourage them, to activate their voice, yeah. you know. And um, I, I, I'm watching this here right now and witnessing this, and it's so wonderful and very magical mm. that you connect that. And when did you start working with voice activation for people? Was it during the, the circles you, you realized that it could help people? Um. Well, every singing circle is a voice activation workshop, right. you know, because everybody's coming for a singing circle, but still we are very much used to sitting and listening to the musician, especially if it's an amplified musician, mm -hmm. yeah? So most of my work is to, to invite people to say, hey, listen, this is not a concert, it's a ceremony, it's an interactive thing. Come on, bring your voices. Come on, let's go ah together. Come on, it's like like here in the first song that we sang. It was kind of come on, guys, come on, go on, so, to bring out this, this like to find the everyday simple way of saying let's let's go, let's do it together. So and with time, I've learned with doing hundreds and hundreds of of singing circles, I've learned more and more little um, um, tools mm -hmm. to help the the collective. Um, give in to the mutual flow up to a state where I can let go and follow what is happening just like is happening here you know instead of having prepared questions we said okay we have a few prepared questions but let's see what happens you know so so we are all in this movement I and you and you and you and all of us are kind of following the moment seeing where will it take us and then we're activating this this vessel you know, the, the spaceship of music that is taking us deeper into the unknown in a harmonious way. Wonderful. No? Thank you. And, you know, you obviously have this, this workshop that's happening. And could you tell us where can people can find it? And, you know, what's your next event? Yeah, sure. Um, so the, the next event is happening here in Florestella. We have, we're having a few... Uh, a few um, smaller uh, events here in Costa Rica, like on Sunday. Yes. On the 8th, we're going to be in Uvita. I'm going to play a little bit at the end of the ecstatic dance and then um, and then to hold a, a voc voice activation and, and singing circle, um, a two-hour workshop. Then um, on the 14th, I'm going to be up in Chiripo. Yeah, I'm really excited towards that, never been there. And we're going to, I'm going to guide an open mic evening, which is the same. It's to, to invite people to be the space holders and to not only give their song, but to work with the energy and work with themselves. So... So I'm really excited to do that. Great. And where can people find that? It's um, so it's website. all uh, it's all in, in on my Instagram. Great. Yeah, U R I A T S U R. Fantastic. That's that's me on Instagram, Fantastic. on Facebook, on Gmail, on everything. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, do we have any more uh, requests whilst we're? Uh, I would like to know if there is a favorite song that you would like to sing, or anybody else likes, so one that really touches you that you would like to share with us. Mm. Um, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's another rainbow song that is coming. Um, or you know what? No, I, I want to play an original song of mine that is, 
that is not published yet. It's wow. published only to my ever community of, uh, of the inner circle, subscribers. Wow, exclusive. Yeah, that are receiving a song every month and recording an original song and sending it only to them. Yeah. And this is my way with the ability, with the help of my community to take the songs out of my draw and into a collective field. And then one day we will also release them. Um, but this one is a song that came to me in the journeys and my travels in Mexico. Um, and it was, it was a moment where I needed to just give myself a hug, you know? And then this song came. Um, yeah. And please ask questions. Come on, you guys on Facebook. <laughs> Whatever interests you. Let's break through the, through the walls of this room and become a global event. So nice to play this with more people. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. No. What a beautiful song. Um, may I ask what inspired you to write it? You said you wrote it for yourself for a hug. Yeah. I'd be intrigued to know. Maybe we'd be intrigued to know uh, where you were. You know, life is full of ups and downs, and I'm sure that. 
Yeah, it's it's just this this constant reminder that I need for myself through my journey to open my heart to the dark spots of my life. You know, like having a having a why, like a chapter of like a uh, feeling that it's not connected, not happening. Um, in 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 my career, in my relationship, in my parenthood, in my you know like well being. And, and it's like this, life goes through these waves. And even though I know it, every time I'm at the bottom of a wave, it looks like I'll never get out of there. It's like, it's, that's it, this is it, I've, I'm lost. Um, so, so yeah, so this song was kind of written to me. So if you open, open your heart. I, I started with singing, with making this open your heart to the one that you are like singing to myself, to the darkness and light, to the light in the darkness, you know. We are all brothers and sisters, all of that. So, and then, and then a friend of mine from the from the inner circle, I sent like I, I I played the song to him. He was with me in Mexico, and he said to me, and I loved it. I I I, I wrote it, and I felt, oh, this is so perfect. I love this song. This is, and I was playing it and playing it and playing it. And then he came. He's like, I have to play your song. Listen, and open your heart to the one. And then, at the end of the song, I'm like quiet for a moment, and he goes. I felt like you told, you're telling me what to do. <laughs> I'm like, what? What do you mean? It's like, yeah, you're telling me, what, don't tell me what to do. And I said, <laughs> and I took a deep breath, you know, I said, okay, something that I've learned from being in a relationship for 15 years already with my, with my love is, is, is when she's hitting a spot that goes, that I go like, and I want to fight back, like to go, to breathe and to say thank you, <laughs> and to learn. How to relax into that for a moment, and I said, "Okay, boy, you know, I'll take it." And uh, and I re I rewrote it, and I'm so happy that I did. And just just to mm -hmm. describe a situation instead of telling what to do, because when I'm telling somebody what to do, I'm not accepting what is. And just to just to accept what is, and also just to describe a truth. That the open heart to the one that we are shows the darkness and light, and shows the light in the darkness. Wow, yeah. love it. Very important message, especially the story that. You wrote it and you rewrote it, you know, due to your experience. Yeah, yeah. Your lesson learned there. Yeah. It's a good one to keep in mind. Thank you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, so, with your sessions, do you do one to ones or do you do group sessions? Like, how, how would you work in? I work only with groups, only group sessions. It's, I think, a lot of uh, because, because I feel that this, this gift is so important. Mm. And the one-to-one -one is just taking a lot of my time. And most of my time is invested in being uh, a partner, a lover to my, to my partner and a father to my kids. Um, or at least uh, every, every free moment, I'm, I'm trying to bring it over to there, you know, um, and not to get carried away. So, so I open it to big groups. And in the groups, everybody has a personal experience. It's just, it's not about me and meeting myself. We're opening a field and then in this field, everybody's going through their own experience. And, and what I do, I facilitate situations where you can meet yourself in front of another person, in front of two other people, in front of a group of three, or in front of the whole group. And then together we learn from that. Um, so I see, I see it as just much more efficient. I love doing one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. It's just I'm, I'm trying to be focused in this time of life. Maybe in, in 10 years when my kids are already flying birds, you know, then I, I will be able to give more private sessions too. Mm. Yeah. Um, it would be great to know when you conceptualize your, your words and the music and the group sessions, do you always compose on guitar or do you play any other instruments? And um, I play, uh, yeah, I, I play percussion, I love percussion. Um, most of the times I will write down a song and, and then I will kind of see how the words flow. So if it's, it's the word you are, and it has a you are, it, it wants to go a certain way. So I'm trying to listen to that and to flow with it in the context. Um, yeah, and sometimes I just play a few chords and suddenly words come and it becomes a song. But many of the songs are written in a, in a moment. It's just a clear a moment of of clear presence and then they show up and then I tweak them a little bit but that's that's pretty much it that's fantastic yeah. um, it's good to know and have an insight on that um, now we we have like a short amount of time left and um, we'd 
look at who you are and everyone sings some more songs. Yeah. Um, and if, if there's a message that you want to share today, um, what would it be hmm. to everyone watching online and for all of us here? Um so maybe maybe let's let's uh, like maybe f some of us here like what is the message that we want to give to all of us online to the hundreds of thousands of people that one day will see this moment you know or or to the few dozens whatever like it's it's still important go for it, go for it. <laughs> yes more I, I think the most important thing in life in my life and i guess for everyone is to connect to ourselves. Mm. So if we can help people to connect with themselves, that's an amazing gift. That's mm. the most important thing. Yeah. To connect with ourselves. Mm. Otherwise we we are lost. Yeah. yeah. True. True. To connect with ourselves, otherwise we are lost. Yeah. Come to the voice medicine retreat. Come to the voice medicine <laughs> retreat. <laughs> Come to the voice medicine retreat. Yes. The best thing you'll do yes, in your yes. life. If, we, if you're in Costa Rica right now, if, if not, then, then I'll be also all over Europe through, like, from April through October. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we'll share some links. We'll make sure everyone can find, you know, yeah. find you and come to your events. And um, we'd love to hear you sing uh, another song before yeah. we close. Yeah, let's Thank sing. Thank you for coming and being here at Flores Rowing and sharing your message and your music. It's beautiful. Great pleasure. Thank you so much for the questions, for holding space, for kind of being the structure of our, of our gathering. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know how that feels. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, beautiful. And as the song begins, if, if we have more messages, right now is the time. Now is the time. Also, people online, if you have a message, write it down and we'll, st we'll say it out loud. Yeah? message I have is uh, embrace your darkness for joining us thank you for, for taking the time i hope that you found this beneficial in your journey thank you Vismai, for having us here hosting us yeah. thank you sophia for for holding space and making sure that all the logistics flow yeah, it's been a smooth ride care of the, of the technicals over there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining, for being singers, participants, live participants. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to sing a lot more together. This is a song by a friend of mine, Omer Golen Haela. And it's for me, it's a, it's a child running in a field of flowers.
whenever it is that you're watching this, an intention for the children in our world to run free, to see the flowers of creation around them, if it's in the form of a flower or, or, of, a, or, or of their cat or anything around them that they recognize as beautiful and shining. know that this has strength when we sing it right now together because there's a lot of people that are singing this around the same center of intention. so much everyone for your beautiful intention and presence and voices may we all find ourselves more free in this world to shine what we have received to carry thank you so much Uriya. <laughs> thank you Shai thank you Luna thank you Amel thank you to our guests to our crew Wow, this has been amazing, very beautiful, thank mm. you for this grace. Uh, normally I'm there and someone else is here. <laughs> and I really enjoyed uh, pulling the knobs for you guys and mm. experiencing this. And I think we're going to have an incredible retreat here in Florestral, enjoying combining these powers. So really excited and thank you so much for joining. And yeah, everybody at home, thank you for joining and thank you for yeah, receiving all this beauty and taking a part of it in any way, just mm -hmm. because you are here, present. And yeah, we'll uh, keep on the broadcast uh, coming next Sunday and a week after probably. So stay tuned and love to all, sending greetings and blessings from our forest to your heart. Oh, oh, thank you, Visma. Oh. Viva Florestral! Viva! Thank you, Viva la musica! Viva la musica. <laughs> Sound of Light, this has been our broadcast.